I'm Ted Frick, owner of the Classic Swing Golf School located at the beautiful Legends Resort in Myrtle Beach. So I'm going to do a series in putting. And the reason I'm sharing this is over the last, my goodness, five up to 10 years watching the ladies and the men on TV, we're seeing like a revolution in the change of the way the golfers are holding putters and even in the handles. So we're going to get to these different style grips over this series of putting, low left hand, the claw, and variations of the claw, and then the traditional style. So I'm even gonna be using some different putters and talk about the, the advantages and disadvantages of each one. But the series is gonna start, we use a, an acronym at the Classic Swing Golf School. It's R-A-T, RAT, that we know the common ingredient that we see of good putters. We know the bottom line's confidence. But R stands for read, A stands for aim, and T stands for touch. So I wanna give you a little tip here on aim. All really good putters know how to use their dominant eye. And when I sit back in my schools and do private lessons, and I talk about those using their dominant eye to set up a line on the ball, many people, well over 60% of the golfers don't even know what their dominant eye is. So take this as tip number one in the putting series. All right, behind me out here is hole number nine on the parkland at the Legends Resort. And watch this tip. It was taught to me by an eye doctor. I'm gonna take my hands and form like a little heart here like this with my arms extended, but I'm gonna focus on the flag on number nine. So I'm gonna turn my back to you for a moment. All right. So with both eyes open, looking through my hands, both eyes open, I can see the beautiful white flag denoting the pins in the middle of the green. But when I close my right eye, it looks like the flag or even my hands have moved when I blink and close the right eye. But with both eyes open, the flag exposed. When I close my left eye, the flag is still right there in view. The eye that keeps the flag in view is my dominant eye. And all good putters, because aim is so important, they must know what their dominant eye is and what it's used for. All right, hope that helps.